Hello and welcome back for this video. I really appreciate you are back here and watching my videos. And today I will explain about uh, Windows 2090 and how you can work with the SSH, how you can uh, allow the groups and deny the groups of course, and then uh, allow and deny the users in the system. I really appreciate you here and uh, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the right corner below and press the thing. If you have any comments, please make the comments below and and see the descriptions for more information. And that's what we want to do. And thank you. And now we want to go for, for this. So let's start. The first we want to, to do is going for the user. We, uh, we already have uh, the SSH installed. You can check it to have the service. If not, you have. I have another tutorial, I will place it in the description below. And we can go in here to open SSH. You can see we have it uh, here in running. Put it over to the right so we can see what's happening. Going back to this folder and for this PC, going for the C drive. And then you have a folder called program data. If you don't have this folder, you can uh, go in for the view and enable the hidden item. And you can hit the file extension, uh, showing the file extension. Go inside to the program data and then the SSH. And inside the SSH folder, we have a lot of files. The, the only file we want to, to work with is the sshd underscore configuration. And we will open it and I will use Notepad. You can use the editor you want. But remember, if you're working on a server, Notepad probably what is you have. If you're working on a Windows 10, this will be the same uh, procedure. Then you can use your uh, Farad editor. And then we just open it. I will just do a little, a little bit smaller and going up here. And that's fine for me. And then we have scrolling down a little bit here. And in this file, we want to deny all the users first. So let's say uh, deny. Now users and then user star. That's meaning we will deny all the users in the system and nobody wants to have access for SSH. To prove this, I need to create a new user because we already have the administrator user. So I will go inside and creating the user now. We're going down here to the Windows icon and click on settings. In the settings, we have a lot of icons, but you need to click on the uh, account here. And in the account, you can see my, my user here, it's a local user. And then you need to click on other users and add some someone else for this PC. Close the, the here in the background and going for the users. And new user, right click and click on new user here and the new user should be test and the password. I pick one my private password here and then the user must change the password on the next login. We will uh, disable this and enable the password never expire. That's fine for us. Close this because we already have the user here. We will keep this uh, open a little bit because we need it uh, soon. And we just minimize this a little bit. And over here we have saving it. So let's go and uh, restart the service here. And then we can go in for the for the normal command prompt here and say SSH test and my local IP for this test machine um, will be this one. And I can try to use my password and I should be should be locked out now. And that's um, that's because I know why and I will explain why it is. It's because we have the match group administrator here. You need to comment this out. I've used a lot of time to figure out why it's not working and then in the end watch these two lines. I don't know what it's doing. I have not researched what it's doing, but I know when I'm coming those two lines out and save it and restart my service, then it will working as I want. Now it's starting and if I'm going up again and try to connect with the test user, I'm not allowed to do this, even not if I'm using the administrator here.
and the permission is denied. So those two, uh, two lines here is very important to, to remember because else you will end up in, in a big mess and confusion. I've, I've been there and I spend a lot of uh, valuable time, so that's not fun. The next stuff we want to, to do is uh, if we only want to uh, deny the, vo the first user, let's say we want to deny test. Let's keep this one and add a new line so you, so you can see what's happening. And then we say the test user should not be able to, to remote. And uh, then we control here, have a test. And then it's not uh, allowed to be remote. And then we want to try to, to use the administrator user. And let's see about how it's working. And now we have got inside. Let's running outside again and going back for the configuration. Let's say we only want to allow the, the test user. Then we just say allow uh, users and then we say test. And normally in systems, it's probably want to be um, the administrator you want to use or other administrators users. But let's just play around with the test user here. Restart the service one more time. And then we're going prepare here and see the test. It should be going inside and we are inside the system. Let's do the same with the administrator here. And then we are not uh, uh, permission denied. So, so that's how uh, it's working. So let's, uh, let's comment this out. The next step we want to speak about it will be how you can uh, create the group and say everybody inside this group is allowed to use uh, a SSH login or you want to deny this group of users and that's what we want to do now so, so first we want to go back to the groups inside here and then you say new group and the group name should be SSH test that's what we want to play with and let's say you want to add a member I want to administrator and then create the group and close it down and here you can see the group and then we say deny groups and say SSH test. Let's restart the service again and now it's uh, it's running. I should not be able to log in as an administrator but the test user here should be allowed to be logged in and it's working so that's how we can deny a single uh, single group um, but we can do the same as allow groups allow groups and restart the service again and if we try here with the test it's not allowed if we're trying with the administrator you can see we are logged in so that's how we're working with remember Always remember about the, this match group administrators that should be coming out. Don't remove it so you can remember you have uh, coming out. And then remember every change you do in the configuration file here, it's requiring you, you make a restart of your SSH server. If you don't do this, you can uh, sit in configuration something and then it will not work as you expect. So that's a little bit about how you can work with SSH and how we can allow users, deny users, allow groups and deny groups on Windows 2090 server. I really hope you, you will stay in tune with my channel. I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it by pressing um, the, the thing in the right corner below. If you have any questions, please make them in the comments. If you have feedback and something like that, I will really pre appreciate to, to answer you as fast as I can. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.